Hello and welcome to MB Tech. My name is Matthew Bingham and today I'll be going over another uh, section of I guess the Catello. Basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting up a constant update of the repos and then we'll go through and actually set up a crone job to actually extract the errata and update the errata as well uh, on that system. Um, this was a request um, so I'm going to finish this video up. So here we go. We'll start logging in first to the foreman or Catello admin page. And here we see a list of systems that I have. Uh, we're going to need to go to content products. And once we're in products, we want to look at the repos. So we'll click on the repos. From the repos, we can see we got the base, the Apple, the extra, the Catello, and the updates. What you can do here is you can select all. And then from there, we're going to actually do a select action. We're going to say new sync plan. We can call this sync plan whatever we'd like. Um, so we'll just call it uh, CentOS 7 sync. Um, when we want to do it, we want to do it daily. And we're going to start today and we're going to do it at uh, 2300 hours, which is 11 o'clock and click save. Okay. What this did is this actually saved just synchronizing these re Okay. Once you have the sync set up, you can go to monitor reoccurring logics and in reoccur logics. We can see that we've got this set for 11 o'clock. Um, how many iterations this is actually done? repeat until and then you can disable this as well so if we click on it itself we can see it's called the CentOS 7 sync plan it's going to be running uh, this is basically regular crone uh, setup it basically goes um, minutes to hours and then I think days but I'll, I'll, I'll get into that more when we actually set up another job uh, for that that is uh, crone uh, tab is inserted in there and this will run every single day at 11 p.m. at night. Um, so that is the re reoccurring logic for just the repos itself. Um, the other question was is how do you get the errata to update? So for the errata we're gonna have to actually create a script. Um, I have that script on the system and then we'll create a crone job for that as well. So you'll basically be doing uh, reoccurring logic for the uh, repos and we can do that every single day will not hurt anything that just basically goes out there and, and gets the latest and greatest uh, packages if they are available and out there and then we'll actually do a errata download um, that does not get updated all the time um, it actually goes out to a website called steve myers mirrors and it downloads what they have at the time you know it updates maybe every once a week or so i think you can get a more current one but i believe you uh need to donate or or pay for that um, so we'll basically just be going out every Friday and every Friday we'll actually check to see if there's a uh, new errata to be downloaded and then process that errata into our uh, system as well. Um, so for the Catello part, basically just go in, like as I mentioned, you're going to go in and, and do the, your products. If you have multiple ones, if you've got CentOS 8 or CentOS uh, 6 or any other repos that you want to sync, you can do the same thing and set up a separate sync for those individual uh, repos I've only got seven on this uh, Catello system so we're just going to be doing uh, the ones that are listed here and like I said that's already been set up so now what we need to do is we need to actually log into the Catello system itself and on the Catello system itself uh, we can see that this is the nomenclature for a Chrome tab uh, the first part is your minute, second is hour, third is day of the month, fourth is month, fifth is day of the week, and then a username and then the command to be executed. So if we kind of look at our previous one, we can see that it's 0, 023, so 0 would be at 0 minutes. And 23 is the hour, which is 11, so 11. And then day of the month doesn't matter. Month doesn't matter. And day of the week doesn't matter. And the job that it's doing is 
kind of hidden, but it's basically going through and, and running that sink uh, thing there. So we're doing the errata one. So we're going to need the same uh, similar type of uh, nomenclature, if you will, for what we need to do. Um, so we'll be setting it up uh, for like 11, 15, an hour and stuff like that. So we will go in and uh, first of all, look at the script that we're going to be running. Clear screen. Cat that out. And I'll also post this in the uh, uh, description. So basically, we're going to go through and process the CentOS 7 errata, uh, sets the local time, uh, make sure that's uh, US, uh, gets the latest errata from the Steve Mir website. Um, so first, we're going to remove errata.latestxml if it exists in that directory. Then we're actually going to curl to get the latest and bring it down into that directory. And then we're going to be unzip2, uh, which is basically going to unzip that. And then it basically unzips it to the uh, errata.latest um, will be in that directory. Um, so if we look at this one here, I'm actually going to make a duplicate of this. change directory into opt pulp and we can see that on this system here that the latest errata is actually April 25 um, and it was that's the size of it about looks like a 10 10 meg um wow but anyways that that's the, the one that's in there now um and then we will set this other uh, system up to actually run the uh command that we just created or the script that's just created here so we will do a chrome tab uh, e to edit Oop. Okay, and we're going to insert and here we're going to do it at 15 minutes after 11 p.m. And whoops. And here it's going to be Friday. And we're going to do it as root. And then the location of the script itself, which is here um, at the scripts location. You see the path, so it's slash root slash scripts, and that's going to be Catello Arado import.sh. Just make sure it looks right there. That looks good there. Um, once again, just do a make sure I got the nomenclature right. I don't create too many of these, but uh, I used to. Um, so yeah, it's lowercase uh, f for Friday. Um, as we went, we got minute 15, 23, um, day of the month. Uh, it's going to be an asterisk. Month is going to be an asterisk, and then day of the week is going to be Friday. Username is root. And the command to be executed. So we will leave that like that. And then that should run now every Friday to upgrade, update the errata. Um, one thing we can do real quick is I can actually run this script. I clear the screen. You can see this downloading it and then it's actually uh, running it. It's already extracted it. 
Um, if we look at our other window, you can see here it was April 25th. Was this errata? If we go back to that directory, do a quick list, do a list, ATR. You can see it has a June 8th date, so it's definitely been updated there and it's running through and it's actually updating the errata on the system. Then this will be done every Friday at 11.15 p.m. And then once everything's been synced up, if we go back to Catello and we go into the content and errata, This is a router that it's applicable to the actual systems that are there, and it'll tell you what systems and how many uh, other systems that need it. But if you want to see that all of the errata that's installed, uncheck applicable. And you can see now that it's got uh, errata for June 6th. So there's been some things that uh, have been downloaded for that, and it will go through and update all of the errata for the systems. Again, this is Matthew Bing with MB Tech. Hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, comment. And once again, please subscribe. And I'm trying to hit a thousand uh, subscriptions, and I'm at 700, almost 800. So I'm trying to keep this going, and I'll keep on producing as much content as I can. Again, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks a lot, and have a great day.